So you all know about Kick ICU. You know you all know about our bridge protocol. You all know about uh, SAFT, Bitcoin Suzy, Cryptonomous, and the list goes on and on. Those are offering a kind of um, platform for investors to actually invest in blockchain projects. And maybe you've not heard of Start Engine. So Start Engine is like a crowdfunding platform, but this is very different from normal crowdfunding platform. This is a kind of platform here. Um, just like investors who are very wealthy wants to invest and get money. Crowd, uh, crowdfunding is, um, sorry, Start Engine is a platform. It's an institutional investment platform. Just like you have Secure, um, yeah, Team Dropper Group, and then the list goes on and on. This is a platform that is a company, but those who want funds for their businesses, like as you can see, Snowdos electric cars. So these guys want to produce cars that are one hundred dollars. So you could come to a, they come to a platform like this, and then the, the crowd will be the ones to fund this project. So this is like an ICO, but not an ICO per se. Uh, not in the blockchains. Uh, not in the blockchain space. So if you click on this now, Snowdos electric car. They want to produce cars, the electric cars that are selling for ten thousand dollars. And until they're selling for the ten thousand dollars. The last thing about this cars is that it's unlike the normal, like in normal cars, this car will be like almost like a motorcycle. It, it will have three wheels, two at the front, which is the normal cars, two at the front like this, and then just one at the back. So something that is unique. Now another thing again about this, uh, about this, I um, I'm used to ICUs. Another thing again about this platform is that you can charge this platform with your normal, uh, the normal electricity you have so with 220 to 240 volts you can charge this platform and it is cheap and one of the things you can bank on is the founder uh, the ceo which is um storm saunders he actually actually if you click um yet yeah, can we find that now he has done a crowdfunding campaign before where he raised some money to build some bicycles uh snowdos electric okay yes where is it snowdos electric bike and he has be able to uh, he has they've sold over 30,000 30, of those bikes so he now has another ambition to build a car an electric car now another platform again is XTI aircraft company so these are not becoming the blockchain space and maybe you can invest in them if you want to invest so you do your own due diligence, how they will be going about it. So these guys are selling, you want to see what they are doing. They will be selling one token for us. Uh, <laughs> I'm used to, I'm used to ICS. They will be selling one share for $1 and the minimum is three fifty. So you can see this kind of platform. So you, you, you can be investing in blockchain startups. Then you can also be investing in non-blockchain startups. And then let's move on to what we have before us. Now what we have before us is Lucid. Now. Before we talk about Lucid, we will talk about the, the uh, hindsight bias. Now, the hindsight bias is that bias that goes on coin market cap, and then it picks a platform like Neo, for example, and then he goes to the price chart and says, "Wow, this is Neo was selling for twenty-two cents. How much is it today?" Hey, 100 and something dollars. So the new one was over, over 160 dollars. I could have. Then the inside effect will say, Oh, I should have put 220 dollars. Would have given me 1,000 new. Then it would have been selling for 160. I would have gotten 160,000 dollars with 220 uh, uh, 220 dollars that is the inside effect the inside effect i've explained with this video however if you don't get it this effect is that bias in humans that always look back and says if you had done such and such if you had taken such and such step in the past this would have been the result so the inside effect is you basing a decision you are looking back and say okay 
if you had done this. Now, the inside this effect also works with this. So there are people like Bitcoin is making a lot of balls now, but maybe they had Bitcoin long ago. What was this thing? Does not make sense to me. They would they left it. Now we now have Lucid, for example. So Lucid is trying to raise money to build the next generation of smart glasses. Now this next generation of smart glasses, they are not mad, they're just like a normal glass you and I have. The guy the glass that people wear maybe for medicated glasses or um, just normal glasses you wear for fashion or whatever. This glass, you already know that our normal glasses, they are not heavy on the eye. They're not like the, um, the, the, the they're not like the normal glasses, maybe Oculus glasses or whatever that, that, that is very big and you cannot walk. No, they want to produce glasses that are the, like the normal glass. They are economic, they are cheap, not only are they cheap, they are very flexible. Don't want to put load on your eyes. In the, in the in the name of wearing smart glasses, and then they want to combine these stuffs with blockchain. So the AR revolution is being held back because no one has developed smart glasses that are ergonomic, practical, and comfortable for all they wear. Lucy has exclusively licensed tenteen innovative. AR patent and assumed assembled a team of global leaders in optics, AR and ergonomics to build the, the first lightweight prescription ready smart glass. You can see the 13 patents, seven PhD in their team, and they are looking at a market like this. And then Lucid is a company of a portfolio company of tech capital, a leading UK IP investment company, and is built on a rigorous governance. Now this if you check up this platform, they're investing in investing startups and the rest of them. And it will be the first ARO blockchain. So you can see this the strategic alliances they've had. Now, one of the things about this, they've partnered with a lot of persons to help them build the software side of it, to help them build on that on that platform, to help them build with the, uh, the hardware part of it, and the list goes on and on. So they've appeared before televisions, uh they've, they've they are working. They, they are doing roadshow, walking around to make sure that um, they, they bring these things to the to the, to the market. So you, if you look at this, devices, uh, glasses that have mic, cameras, everything, smart glasses. Now, in the few years, you might be asking, okay, would they be able to pull this project together? Now I want to know. I want to know if you are considering investing in this platform. The first thing I want you to consider is that the team is very legit. Secondly, that the team can pull it together. However, you might be considering, okay, uh, Google did it and they failed. Well, if you want to invest in this platform, you are like, you are investing into Steve Jobs. So it's like the first Apple computers were like this. And now you have the components that are more sophisticated like this. And then what started the year has expanded to become one of the biggest companies. I think Apple is going to over almost a billion dollars, becoming one of the best, um, one of the most successful companies. So when you are investing, if you want to invest in this platform, the time is going to take first, after they raise this money, they are going to start building and working so it's going to take maybe some time maybe one year or two years to be able to i don't know the time or some few months from now before they go to push uh pro produce these stuffs and then uh after they produce this stuff they will not need to market this stuff so it's 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 a big time but they have advantage already they already have the patent so if they have the patent and maybe who knows along the line if they could be acquired by one of the big companies or they could be working with these companies and the rest of them so you want to consider what they want to do. Now, another thing, you want the application of this stuff is with Lucid, you can literally browse the internet from these glasses. Yeah. Secondly, with Lucid, you can do anything that is called digital. Anything you could do with your phone, you could do it with Lucid. So 
if I think I think Facebook is actually looking into the space now. Facebook is looking into the space. What Lucy is what Lucy is doing soon we might not have uh, uh, smartphones. There will be a transition to uh, uh, glasses. Now I think the way I'm saying the the the, 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 the way technology is going. I don't I don't know. Maybe my, my prediction may be wrong. There are two things that are going to happen. Technology is going to come is going to evolve to the point where, and that is why a project like this. The way technology is going to come to the point where things like vi uh, visual, audio, and then mind. So that is where technology is going: audio, visual, and then mind. So in the near future, there will be a lot of transition. So, however, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. Do your own, uh, your own due diligence on this platform. This is just for information purposes. As always, like and subscribe. And do have a very good day.